What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Consumer Annualist uh, Bracket Challenge, but it's an annual kind of award that goes out to major corporations for the worst company of the year. Now EA has been uh, nominated more than once. I believe they, they won two years in a row, but they've been nominated this year, as well as uh, Microsoft was nominated this year. And it's been, you know, in the news a little bit for people who are in that kind of, you know, circle of information. And uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what I think about uh, this type of award and what these companies really represent and what we as uh, a community of gamers and society have really allowed to happen. Uh, EA uh, lo actually lost this year. They did not win this prestigious award. They lost to Time Warner Cable at, at a margin of 51.2% to 48.8%. Uh, so they were neck and neck for worst company of the year and a lot of people are upset with EA because of the whole Battlefield debacle, and they have a history of this, pushing games out too early for consumers, pushing games out, are, out that are not fixed, they are not ready to be shipped, and it, you know, it really puts a bad taste in the mouth of gamers. Now, Battlefield had come out maybe six months later than the original date. It would have completely destroyed Call of Duty. It may have even been a more popular game than Titanfall, but the fact that they wanted to get it out at a certain date at the same time that Call of Duty was coming out just so they could get their hands on as much extra revenue as possible they really shot themselves in the foot now uh, the company that actually won is uh, Time Warner Cable and I'm not privy to the information as to why they won they are the second largest cable provider in the United States uh, I'm pretty sure that Comcast is undergoing a deal right now to buy Time Warner I'm from up north, I'm from Ohio, Time Warner Cable is Comcast so everyone up there has Time Warner, they actually won this but the thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. There are uh, companies in the world that are nominated for these kind of awards. And Microsoft is one because they botch games and they have software that's broken. Uh, we got EA because of their consumer relations, because of their strategy uh, of putting out video games that are way too early and that are broken. And it, it raises hysteria in, in society. But the thing that I want to talk to you guys about is there are real companies in the world that deserve this award that you guys have probably never heard about. You guys look up a company called Monsanto. Monsanto is a company that is based around the world that they buy off the gov they bought off our government. They bought off the Barack Obama, they bought off the Republicans, the Democrats, they bought off major corporations and there is no way around it. What this company is known for now, let me paint a picture for you. Monsanto creates Ready Roundup, the stuff that you put out uh, in your fertilizer to grow fruits and vegetables and herbs and whatnot. And what this Ready Roundup does is it kills weeds, but it also doesn't hurt the, whatever it is you're growing, like the fruit or vegetable. And so they also sell seeds that are Roundup ready, meaning that you can spray insecticides on these seeds and on these fruits and vegetables. and um, Monsanto actually genetically modifies these seeds and these seeds have been known to cause tumors and cancers in animals and people and it's really a detriment to uh, the health of the world. Monsanto is basically bioengineering all the food on the planet and um, we have no idea this is going on. All the corn in the United States is all the corn is bioengineered, it's, uh, it's GMO genetically modified uh, all the soy in the United States is genetically modified. All the canola is gen genetically modified. So all the corn products you buy in your grocery store, they're not real corn. They're made in a lab. And check it out. They have something called a terminator gene that they put inside their seeds. So when they grow once, the seed will not create any more. They won't bear any more fruit. Because it's been genetically modified, they want more revenue. You grow your, your fruits or your vegetables for that you know, season and you cannot get anything else out of the seed. So basically, they've created this God gene that overrides God's divine plan, if you believe in God anyway. So companies like this really exist, and they, they need to be recognized by you, me, and, and more people in the world besides companies like EA. Yeah, EA, they've done some stupid things. They, they put out a video game, okay? They put it out too early, and this game, it, it, it enraged a lot of gamers, but there are companies in the world that are looking to genetically modify all our food that is a detriment to the health of our children's children, to their children. And we sit back and watch this happen. Uh, Barack Obama signed a, uh, 
a Protect Monsanto Act. Google this stuff, guys. Look it up. Uh, this is in Congress where if they have uh, seeds that are found on a, a, a private farm, they can go into that farm and take that farmer's land because they feel like that farmer has stolen their genetically modified seed. And this is going on around the world, around the country. They're just destroying the nature, the beauty of this planet. And that's one company. There are many others that deserve these types of awards. But Monsanto is definitely what I feel the top two companies that are a detriment to the world in general. I wanted to bring you guys this information, let you guys know about who won Time Warner Cable, who lost EA by a margin of 1.8%, and talk to you guys and let you guys know about this company called Monsanto that creates, that creates genetically modified foods that basically are chemicals and and parts of other fruits and vegetables, parts of animals have been spliced into the DNA makeup of these seeds and we are eating them every day. I'm the Beast of the Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.